Okay, I just recorded the uh, clip of the instant death for um, Demonica, so let's go do it successfully now. This is probably one of my favorite bosses in the game. It's just very cool. I like the music. Overall, it's an awesome boss fight. Alright, so this fight is not anything like any of the other ones. Oh, uh, here we go. Alright, see this? This is a hanging girl. You don't want to use the- or you don't want to hit that. What you want to hit is this big figure. If you don't hit that, you're dead. But they give you a lot of time to hit it, so you don't have to worry too much. Otherwise, all the doors on the floor and on the walls they all have these four things on the sides of them holding them down. If they break through all four of those, then the door breaks open and you get an instant death. And, um, these things are just used for regular attacks. Oh god. Get it! Get it! Kill it dead! So that's how you do, uh, your strong attacks. That's the only way to do it. Um, everything else is just light attacks. God, they're doing it a third time. At this rate, I'm not even going to be able to, uh, get the scarf bomb off on them. So when they open one of these up, which is what we want them to do more than anything, right, like this. Alright, so, ow. What you do, this kind of confused me at first as well, you have to actually grab this door right here. And that's the way that you exercise it. Did we exercise it? Yeah. Okay, good. So we did that right. And the boss is almost dead. I think if they knock, like, five times, then that's pretty much your limit and they'll kill you at that point. But yeah, that did confuse me at first, because there's not really a good way to see um, how you could exercise them. But yeah, just use one of these doors with the eyeballs on them. That one, or... That one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. There we go. And that will defeat Demonica. So that's that. And I think we have time for one more. And then at the end of the video, I'll show off the death scene for Demonica. So you'll get to see that too. Now, um, I think we are going to do... Can we do scene? Well, that, that one is shorter, I think. Um, just give me one moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so the bosses that we have here are Sian, the blue alien thing, and Mirage, the Egyptian type thing. We're gonna do Mirage. Just because I remember this boss being shorter and I don't wanna make this video too long. Gotta be able to fit in that death scene at the end. You know? That there's Mirage. So, 
what I heard the strategy was to get this done with Mirage is just immediately do the Scarf Bomb. And what do you know, it worked. I got damaged, but it still exercised her, so... Works for me. Now, see this attack right here? The way to get strong damage on her is... You actually want to find one of these little pools of water here. And if you can knock her into it, then it'll... It'll, uh, turn the sand into stone, and you can just, uh, stretch the stone out, and it'll damage her. Oh, God. She's totally rocketed at me. Oh, God. Yeah, I really like the arena in this, in this certain boss fight. Just the desert area. It's pretty fancy. Out of all the bosses. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Ah. What are you doing? Stop your silliness. Oh, there we go. Now we'll be able to pull this off alright. So just step on into the water, please. Man, that lags the game like something else. And that'll freeze him. It also makes it rain. So you just snap that and... Voila, plenty of damage for you. I think we should be able to take him out with just normal attacks now, at this point. Maybe this rain is just really high definition, because the game just suddenly started lagging a lot. It wasn't the frame rate either. Ow. Sticking missiles. I hate you and your missiles. So, you know, you can just do boss fights this way, it's a little bit faster. What happened to her? Oh. She fall go down, go boom. So that is it for Mirage and Demonica. We are making fancy progress here. Next up, we will take on Cyan. Cyan. Cobalt. Yeah, we'll take on Cyan and, um... That's pretty much the last boss before the, uh... Final boss, which is right over there. Uh, I also don't like this boss very much. It's probably my least favorite. It's just kind of tough. It It's unique as far as the boss fights go, but it's also kind of irritating because you can't actually attack the boss half the time. You'll see what I mean in a little while. Anyways, um, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and next time we'll take on Cian and I guess maybe go through one of the EX worlds one more time to rack up some points be that. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.